Hello again, kindred spirits. It's Linda Davis with New England Fine Living. And today I thought I would have you follow along while I'm planting my paper whites. Now, many of you probably already planted your paper whites and enjoyed them through the holidays. This year I made the conscious decision to plant them after New Year's because our winters are long here in New England and I want to have some fragrant flowers during the cabin fever season that we have here. I do sometimes get my flowers often at the grocery store. I get my white tulips every year in the winter time. I also go to the Boston Flower Market and pick up flowers. But this year I thought why not do the paper whites a little bit later and enjoy those in the four to six weeks after New Year's. So what I did is I purposely went out looking for a vessel that I could use after the paper whites and that would work in my collection. I did not expect to find this beautiful, I feel, beautiful ironstone piece at Savers. And I still have the price here. It was $4.99. I couldn't pass that up. So I knew this was going to have the paper whites in it. For Christmas I had um, some candies. But there's some other vessels here that I could use as well. I might, I'm gonna definitely have extra bulbs. I have a pewter bowl that I might use. I have this glass container that I've used for candles. I've used it for candies. These I can pick up at thrift stores everywhere. And the bowl that I have the paper whites in, I just liked the color of the green and brown that were here. I had them under a dome uh, just for the holidays. I might even use this bowl. You could even use, um, I had a coffee cup here, it's on the other side, you could use a cup. Any vessel that you want. If you use one that has a hole at the bottom, like a clay pot, just put a stone at the bottom. And you might also be wondering why I have vodka and gin here. I'm also going to be trying what they call ginning the paper whites and that just helps stunt the growth so they don't get really tall and I've been doing a little research on that and I figured I'm going to try that in one of these two vessels. So I'll share a little bit more about the ginning after I plant these because that is done about a week or two after you plant your bulbs. So I'm going to get started and I have some gravel here. Now you can use uh, glass marbles, sand, soil, stones. I actually picked up some stones at our local uh, nursery and I got off-white to work with my iron stone. And so I'm just going to put them here in the, in the container. Easier to just pour it in. A little bit of space here because I also picked up some moss that I'm going to put around the bulbs once um, they've started to root. Bulbs that aren't prepared to plant right away, these have said that they're already prepared. They've been tricked into believing that it's spring already. Now I could be wrong on that but the research that I've done is that's what they mean by it. Um, please, if, if that is incorrect, comment below and then you'll be helping me and others um, with that terminology. But if you have bulbs that haven't been prepared and ready to go, um, what you want to do is put them in the refrigerator, possibly after you plant or before, and then when you take them out into the warm um, room temperature, they think it's spring. It could be as little as a week. So what you want to do is plant them, of course, green side up. Some bulbs don't have the green showing, so you want to have the little bulb up. And you're just going to place them in and kind of put them up to halfway, at least close to the crown. And it's as simple as that. So I'm going to go around the edge. I'm going to put one in the middle. Put this one in the middle because it's already taller and I just have a feeling he's going to be growing faster so I want that one in the middle. I could do just five but I think I'm going to go with a nice full bowl. I'm going to go for seven. Let's see. Okay. 
make sure they're all standing up nice and straight. All right, now that that's done, and also it's good that I did leave some space because pushing them in actually, of course, made the stones come up closer to the edge of the container. So now what you wanna do is fill your, your container with water. You wanna be able to make sure that this water gets up to the bottom of the bulb because that's how it's going to start rooting. And I can see the water now is right now coming up to the top of my stones, which says to me it's reaching the bulb. And once again, so easy, right? I think I'm gonna do a couple others and then we'll explain the ginning process. The pewter bowl here. I'm going to put stones in. Might as well beat it on all up. You should have seen my husband's face when I came home and told him I bought a bag of rocks. Um, we have a, a whole driveway of rocks, but anyway, I wanted the pretty white ones to match my bowl, and that's important, right? So, all right, so I'm gonna put these in again. I look for a nice tall one to put in the center. Don't know if that will make a difference or not. Now this guy is coming out from the bottom as well. So I think I'm just gonna remove that and take off some of the skins because that will just make it prettier as it's growing. been talking while I was putting that in but it's kind of noisy and um, I did order a microphone I just don't have it yet so ginning what I have learned is that what you do first is you add your water like we did on the first one you have that in your container for a week just to get these roots started and my water is up to the base of my bulb then what you do is you put your water in a container again after the week with 5% alcohol. And one website had this big formula, another one said you just add a little bit of alcohol because what it's doing is stunting the growth. I'm 5'1". Maybe it's true and maybe it works. I don't know, just saying. But um, so what they're saying is they're calling it ginning, but another website also used vodka. So it really depends on what you have in your shelf. And you could probably just buy a nip. You don't have to have a big bottle um, on hand. Um, I even saw one that used rubbing alcohol. I haven't done this. So um, I'm going to try ginning these and let's see if this comes out shorter than, than that particular grouping. All right, so in one week, I will come back to these and I'll be adding the gin mixture to the pewter container. I'll have to refer to this video to remind myself of that, but uh, let's see what happens. I have one more container I'm going to work in. I received this box of paper whites or single paper white, but it will bloom into multiple blossoms um, from a girlfriend. She knows I love paper whites. And this is probably as simple as you can get with this little kit. And then they're beautiful. It comes with its own container and the bulb fits right inside. It's gonna turn a little bit. And you add your water right up to the top of that. I'm gonna call hourglass or the waist of the, the vessel here. I'm gonna remove a lot of the skin just because it will float around in the bowl and this will make it prettier. All right. And all we're gonna do is place it here in the bowl and in less than a week, we're gonna start seeing the, the roots show. That's how simple it is. So I cannot wait. In four to six weeks, I will be smelling paper whites in my kitchen or the other rooms that I choose to put these in. And I still have more to plant. I'm gonna to try to find a couple more containers and I need a little more soil, sand, or rocks. Maybe I'll go out into the driveway and grab some 
but the ground is frozen right now, so I might have to buy another bag. Mr. Davis is going to wonder why I bought another bag of rocks, because I had to. And here we have the container with the reindeer moss. I did leave some space so that I could see the stones that I um, picked up. And I also am not quite sure if I like the pop of green around the base. I've seen them with grass. I've seen them with darker moss. This was nice and moist once I took it out of the package. Maybe by next week it will darken a little bit. And if not, you can be sure that I'll probably take the moss off and enjoy the stones and the color of the bulbs. But we'll have to wait and see. Okay, stop the presses. Guys, I have to be honest. I walked away from this container. I walked back in the kitchen. I didn't like the bright green that I was seeing. It just wasn't organic enough for me. Even if it was gonna get darker down the road, I didn't wanna to have to wait. So I already had a package of older moss that I took out from a plant that had already expired, um, maybe at my hands. I'm not going to admit that outright, but um, I ended up swapping them out and I absolutely love how this has a little bit more of an organic feel. It's not as bright, it's not overwhelming the, the green buds that are coming up from the paper whites. So I got the look I was going for. If I want, I can move them about just to show a little bit more of the stones if I want to, or remove some. But right now I'm happy with this until they start growing. So I'm having a bit of a conundrum here. Um, I got this wonderful gift from a girlfriend. She knows I love paper whites. And I took the container out of the box and it was supposed to be as simple as taking out the bulb, adding water, adding the bulb. Well, my conundrum is, is that this... Never mind. I couldn't get it out a while ago. Oh my goodness. 